We all love watching colorful crackers explode in the sky, they light up the entire sky. They give us an out-of-the-world experience. It's so beautiful to watch the star-filled sky being lit up by the colorful crackers explosion. Now let's take two words from the previous sentence. Stars and explosion. What if a star explodes? Is it even possible? Most of us have learnt that a star is made up of gases, so is it possible for gases to explode? Well, this video will shed light on these questions. Before we dive into how a star's explosion can affect the Earth, let us look at what is a supernova and how it takes place. When a star runs out of fuel and starts to cool, the pressure outside the star decreases, causing a supernova or stellar explosion to occur. A big star will collapse in a matter of seconds if the pressure inside it falls to a certain level. A supernova is an explosion that results from this collapse. When do they occur? Star collisions are an incredibly rare phenomenon. Our best calculations indicate that such occurrences only take place once per 10,000 years in our galaxy. Astronomers have only recently been able to witness such mergers occurring, due to continual advancements in technology and science. No one has ever seen this phenomenon in action before, but that may soon change. In 2022, a binary star system will probably merge and explode, predicts a team of researchers from Calvin College in Grand Rapids, Michigan. It will be the first time in history that astronomers will be able to observe a star merger and explosion thanks to this momentous discovery. Furthermore, they claim that observers on Earth will be able to see this explosion with the naked eye. Professor Molnar and his colleagues, from the Apache Point Observatory and the University of Wyoming, have been observing a binary star system, known as KIC 9832227, since 2013. When Karen Kinamuchi, an astronomer at the Apache Point Observatory, presented information on the star's brightness changes at a conference in 2013, it aroused his curiosity about the star. This reminded him of earlier studies done on the V1309 Scorpii binary star system, another binary star system similar to this one. This binary pair also shared an atmosphere, and as time went on, their orbital period continued to shorten until they suddenly collided and exploded in 2008. Since they believed KIC 9832227 might have a similar fate, they began testing to check if it was behaving similarly. If KIC has comparable behavior then, in 2022, there is a good chance a supernova will occur. The Betelgeuse star is another star that is likely to go supernova. A red supergiant star called Betelgeuse is around 548 light-years or 168 parsecs from the Sun. More than 1,200 times larger than our Sun is the Betelgeuse. Big stars aren't always hot stars, Betelgeuse's average surface temperature is just 3,600 K. What is happening to Betelgeuse? Betelgeuse is a semi-regular variable star that occasionally glows brightly or dims. Many assume that the star is nearing the end of its existence because of this. Betelgeuse may be fading or becoming brighter, but this is a normal occurrence and nothing to be alarmed about. Although Betelgeuse hasn't exploded yet, it will shortly. Due to its enormous size, it is an extremely unstable star. Betelgeuse will probably become a black hole when it explodes. How long before Betelgeuse explodes into a supernova? Over 40,000 years ago, Betelgeuse already evolved into a red supergiant. Any time in the next few years, it will blow up. Even from Earth, people will be able to see this event. Will Betelgeuse affect Earth? Betelgeuse is located over 548 light years, 168 parsecs away from the Sun. We will see a bright point of light when it becomes a supernova, but the star is too far away for it to have any impact on us. So far, supernova explosions have had no effect on the Earth. A supernova might occur this year or in the years to come. The chance of a supernova affecting or perhaps annihilating our planet is very high, but it won't happen for another 100 million years. So we don't have to worry about going extinct for the next few million years,